Welcome to another episode of the most famous artist and I will tell you about Avery Singer. She is also a young artist like John Rathman we talked about in the previous episode. Singer was born in New York which is also her place of residence. Since about 2013-2014 she's been having her own solo exhibitions around the world internationally which is great. By using 3D graphing programs she made many series of paintings, the recent one being called Scenes. Mostly done in blacks, whites and grays, she paints blocky geometric bodies which creates this really surreal atmosphere. When I saw those paintings the first time I really thought it was made with some graphing program obviously and then printed or was it a manipulated photograph? I really didn't know what it was but when I saw it up close I figured out that they were made with spray paint and I thought that was so cool! Such a great technique I thought. I thought they were so well done. I think the combination of these sharp edges together with blurred out edges create this real great harmony together with the layers from blacks to whites together. They create these layers and depth to her paintings, which I really like. This creates really constructivist look with all these geometric shapes, mostly cubes and squares and whatnot. As the artist says herself, she would experiment for a long time in a program called SketchUp and all the other 3D programs, but it took her three years to develop that stylistic trademark in her work. She would experiment with acrylic paint, spray paint, airbrush and whatnot just to create these works. The only color she used in a few of her paintings was electric blue, really light vibrant blue and she made it clear that it was a reference actually to the screen glow of an iPhone. <sighs> See whatever artists do it's always gonna be a reference to something else in the history. All art will always be influenced by something mainly history and it will make the history itself and technology has already made so many things available for arts, crafts and ideas to be expressed. It actually creates so much more. This was Avery Singer for the Most Famous Artist. Tell me, did you like her? Did you hate her? Let me know. Right here you can click to watch the next episode of the Most Famous Artist. Subscribe for more. Bye!